Uh, Happy Wednesday, you guys. Today is whatever Wednesday. You know what that means? I want to sit closer to you. I feel like my chair is stuck. Very, very far apart. It means we're going to do whatever we want and means, say whatever we want to say. It means we do and say whatever we want. And you know what? We're also not wearing shirts. Do you know why? Whatever Wednesday means also that we decided we were going to spontaneously crash into the Caribbean Ocean. And we did. Is that? It's either the Caribbean Sea, sea or the Atlantic Ocean. But I'm it pretty is. sure that it's, this is the, still the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, I think you're right. Key it's, West it would is be the further Caribbean. South. Yeah. yeah. So um, the Atlantic Sea, the Caribbean Ocean, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. It's warm and it felt great. Um, so yeah, that was awesome. Today we're going to be talking about the biggest sacrifice you mistakenly make. But before that, let's go over some. You guys can hear us clearly if we're rolling smoothly, if everything's all good. So if you guys were on the page earlier on today, you may have seen a I'm post I'm from look. us. I'm going to look to see if it works. It should have gone 40, 45 minutes ago with regards to our live event. So you guys, we have happy to announce that we have more information with regards to our live event. It will be happening, um, uh, between March 18th to March 21st, and it is going to be in Breckenridge, Colorado. It's we don't know the city. We don't No. It's going to be in Colorado. It's going to be in this Colorado. This is the second time that I'm like messing information up. You guys, the truth is we don't have all of the information, but what you need to know is it's going to be epic. It's going to change your life and it's in Colorado somewhere and it's March 18th to 20th. Yes. So. <laughs> and we will you, take care of If you. you're interested in getting more details um, and potentially being a part of it, then just comment to that post, okay? And we'll make sure that we reach out to you um, and give you all the information that you need. And hopefully we'll get to see you in person and we're gonna be doing some epic shit. It is here. The post has been made and there's already 18 c -c 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 comments. Boom. That's awesome. 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 A few people have already committed. I can tell you that. Bam. Boom, bam, bing, bow. Yep. So if you guys want more information, you're curious, go and comment on that post. Find it. I'm actually going to mark it as an announcement right now. So it's in the announcements. Done. And you can go find that post, comment on it. We'll be sure to reach out from you. Um, and it's either going to be myself or Crystal Catalina. We're going to hook you guys up. So if you get a message from her, I want to hear from you guys listening. Who Who is interested in going to the live event? Wait, wait, wait. Type it in the chat box. Let me hear you say bikinis year-round in Florida. Whatever it's actually Wednesday. our sports They ride. like our idea of whatever Wednesday. Well, it was your idea. Give it was some. not mine. We are a we. She was like, how about we change I am things a you, up a and little you bit? you are a me and we are a we. <laughs> and I said, okay. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, we're freezing oh, up we're a bit. freezing. Little choppies. Okay, yes, yes. Sure. Okay, let's go inside. Let's go. Let's come into our home. Come into our temporary home. This okay, is whatever we'll, Wednesday. We'll grab our towels. Any day is kind of whatever day. Because <laughs> that's how we roll. <laughs> it's so much nicer out. What a wonderful episode of Espresso. Hey, what happens on, on at that Espresso show you watch all the time? I never know. I never know what's going to happen. But I show up anyways because it's exciting. 
Maybe Boogie's gonna show up. Maybe Sarit's gonna cry. Oh my gosh. Maybe they're oh, gonna challenge right. each other with a thought. Oh, Maybe right. they're gonna challenge me with a thought. Maybe they're gonna call me out. Okay, sit in front of your window. You know your role. I know my role. You have one job to do. <laughs> I better do it well on whatever Wednesday. Cause I Guys, we do have a video. We do have a video of us plunging into uh, the sea ocean. The, the, sea. Ocean, the, <laughs> the ocean sea. The Caribbean ocean. The Caribbean lake. Caribbean. The Atlantic stream. Um, so, hey. Yeah. We need to scoot. Scoot this way. Let's scoot this way. Get your head right there. Yeah, wow. Okay. That's great. Now don't move anything. Okay. I'll stay here. <laughs> this is so weird. Um, no, you don't have to. That's By the way, way, because it is whatever Wednesday. My and face since, is salty. And since things are more open here, um, and there is actually open hair salons, we're actually getting our hair done. Look so, at how much this is growing So you guys out. Can, can kiss bye-bye to my fancy hat. <laughs> I just don't even care. I'm starting a new trend. It's called the grow out. <laughs> this is called the it's called the soggy cat grow out. Um, okay, so let so we're gonna need to start selling sports bras. That's what I agree. That's what happened. I, I agree. Think, yeah. Okay. So all right, it's freezing up here. Let's go back to the question that you asked me, 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 yeppers, me. I love Colorado. O M G. Yes, me. Ah. Colorado is this is exciting rad. it's exciting to see that you guys are excited because you guys are why we're here can we snowboard in between you know what you cannot quite honestly choose to do whatever you want to but s snowboarding is not officially a part of the agenda so it could be added to Sunday could be potentially Let's let's just not talk about things we don't know about. Yes, that's not yes helpful. Okay, so um, what do we got here? Twenty negative twenty four degrees. Where? Eee. Let me guess. You must be in Michigan or Minnesota, one of the M states. Minnesota. All right. Okay, so. Yes, you guys got the housekeeping. This is exciting. It's our first live. ENS comes at you live. And we are going to have just a grand time. The tickets are limited for sure. Um, so if you have interest, find that post. It's marked as an announcement. What? It reminds me of the video that L Dub sent you the other day with the bear. Oh, yeah. So you guys, you guys may or may not know. But if you don't know, you should know. Lauren Waymeyer is a training to be a coach on our team actually she is she is a coach now she has passed she's certain our, training she, levels she's already a um and we went snowboarding one time and she sent me a video of a bear chasing a skier down the mountain and it was like a little it looked like a little bear but maybe it was because it was from far away and the skier was like do 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 not really going fast and she just said you both we both know I would die. <laughs> um, all right. So let's have a chat about the biggest sacrifice you mistakenly make or maybe are unaware of that you're even making. Mm -hmm. mm, which is? What do you think it is? I would like to see your guys' thoughts in the comments. What do you think you sacrifice that you shouldn't be sacrificing? Mm. Or that isn't helping you towards your goal because it's being sacrificed. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of the sacrifices we make, right? Um, depending on the goal, there's certain sacrifice. If you want to have success in an area of your life, it requires sacrifice to a certain degree. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So. The more you want to achieve, the more you're going to have to sacrifice too. So it's not a bad thing to make sacrifices. Now, there's certain things that have sacrificed um, hurt you in the long run. Mm -hmm. I want to see what they say. Sleep, sacrifice my time for others, putting others ahead of myself, self self confidence, time, inefficient use of time. Uh, it's good to see you in here, Susanna. 
Um, definitely sleep time, sleep time. Ooh, I agree with sleep time. Okay, you guys are saying sleep and time, which I would agree that goes into the bucket of you. Yeah. Your, uh, your health, your wellness, your sanity, your emotions, mm -hmm. your mental energy and capacity. I want to see an emoji hand if you can relate to the I give, 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 give. Give, 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 give. With the intention, give, give, with give. the in, with the intention of, I'll take whatever's left over. What's left over? Ever. What you put in is what you put out. What is ever left over after you're done taking care of and giving mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually to everybody else, financially, what's left over when you've given to everybody else first? Now, don't, don't hear that it's wrong to give to other people. Don't hear that it's wrong to, you know, uh, put somebody else in front of you. That's not what I'm saying. What we're saying is you empty the cup and you expect to keep being able to give when there's nothing left in it. Um, I heard uh, one of our one of our really close friends who's like family. Um, he had this he had this rule or this principle that is I will sit. In I front know of I'm the doing door. my best. I know it's weird. Um, he has this principle that if you can't fully take care of yourself, and this was strictly talking about financially, because you know sometimes I see somebody in need and I want to give, and I was not in a position where I could even fully take care of myself. I had debt. I had bills. I was you know struggling to to get rid of the debt that I had and he said he said that don't ever give to somebody else until you can take care of yourself first and he is one of the most selfless humble generous, generous giving philanthropic people that I have ever met in my entire life and he said so I have a certain amount of respect. He's got more money he could spend if he tried. And he said, don't give to somebody else until you can take care of yourself. Hmm. And that has always stuck with me. I am so, like we are so confident in ourselves, mentally and emotionally and physically, we're so confident in ourselves. And to this point financially as well, that we are able to give, right? So we do this show every day, why? We fill up our cup every single day. We just got done with the workout, we jumped into the ocean, we're like feeling good, let's go give it to other people. Amen. We have filled up us first. <clears throat> yeah. Filled the cup that belongs to us that now we have something to give to other people. So if you're feeling selfish for doing your workout, mm -hmm. if you're feeling selfish for saying no to uh, homemade cookies that somebody put so much time and energy into for you to have and you say no if you're feeling selfish reconsider what is it that I have to give to this person I, I say there's five buckets there's a financial bucket mental spiritual emotional and physical those are all the buckets. Say it again. Say it again. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and financial. My personal goal in life is to have freedom in every single one of those. Oof. Meaning limitless. I am limitless in anything that I can do because that also means I'm limitless in the amount of people I have the capacity to help. Okay, say it again because... 
you guys, I want you to write it down because I'm going to transition off to that in just a second. The five? Yes. Physical, mental, mm -hmm. emotional, spiritual, and financial. Fill those cups. Maybe you're not a spiritual person. I'm not going to go force you to meditate or stack rocks or wear your Jesus sandals or whatever. But those are my five cups. And every day I need to fill them up in some degree to be able to give it. And if I don't fill it up, I have nothing that I can offer. So if your family is your number one, you have to be your number one priority. Let's get over this. Like, ah, oh, my kids are my first priority. Okay, well, what happens if you don't exist? There is no priority. You have to be your first priority. Who do you think in this relationship is my first priority? This woman means the world to me and I would do absolutely anything. Once I know I have the ability to, and when I know I have the ability to is when I have filled me. Mm -hmm. That's it. You have to, you have to be your number one. Cause at the end of the day, you go to your, you go to sleep with yourself every night and every morning that we are blessed to wake up again. We wake up with ourselves every single day, guaranteed. Not your dog, not your kids, not your husband, not your wife, not your grandma, not your pet iguana. I saw an iguana in the tree over here the other day. It was amazing. Did you put it on Instagram? No, I took a picture. It had like a orange spine. Yeah, it was orange. nasty. It guys. was kind of cool. It and was, it was like, nasty. Uh -huh. and I was like, Ugh. but anyways, you are the only one that you are guaranteed to wake up with and go to sleep with every single night. Amen. Mm -hmm. So if you guys think about it, there's five buckets in life. When you say them again for the clubhouse homies, if you're on clubhouse, we are doing a live espresso show on Facebook live and we figured we'd let y'all join in. Amen. So the five buckets are physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and financial. Now, knowing that the most limited resource that we have in life, you guys, is time. Is watches. The most limited resource that we have is time because we can't control. We can control the speed in which we execute things, but whether we like it or not, time moves in a linear progression. Our energy and our money can always be regenerated. Make sense? Time, a minute that's gone is not ever a minute that's gonna go back. That's why it is the most precious resource. So now, we all have 24 hours in a day to fill five buckets. You got five buckets, okay? Water is coming at you for a matter of 24 hours, okay? However, it takes a significant amount of time to fill up each and every bucket. But, you know, what most people fail to realize, and this is a great discussion for high performers and for mothers, mm -hmm. um, because you, when you guys are invested in something, you're so invested in something. But the reality is, is that going into each day, there is one channel that's feeding you water and you have to fill up five buckets, okay? So there is this limited channel of water, it's called time, and your goal is to, in life, fill up all the buckets, but a limited amount of water is coming in. So how are you gonna do that? Hmm. You gotta set an intention and you have to allocate time for each and every bucket because you're getting a drip here, a drip here, a drip here, a drip here. Now, because, you know, we've evolved over hundreds of thousands of years 
in our DNA, there is information that, you know, helps us to survive. And that's why, like, you know, maternal instinct is a thing. And that's why moms sacri will sacrifice anything. And, and dads, too. Like, parents will, will sacrifice anything for their kids. And there's a time and a place for it. Right. And then, you know, from, from a financial standpoint, too, like, we'll get lost in our pursuit of generating money, especially if we have kids because their life is dependent on us and we want to take care of them but here is the thing you're getting one drip at a time and you're filling that one drop into one bucket okay every minute is one drop you can only fill it into one bucket your goal in life if you want to achieve a life like a fulfilled life full of harmony and you know peace happiness and love you're probably striving and you should be striving to 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 fill up all these all these buckets but the problem is is that in this game called life most people get lost on a singular bucket mm -hmm. and then years and decades go by and then they look back and they're like man my spiritual bucket is empty. My mental bucket is empty. Mm -hmm. My physical bucket now kind of like is getting like a hole because the wind and, you know, just the, the, um, the air started to denature it. My financial bucket is kind of up. It's not where I want it to be. It's not all the way up. So then people look back at life and they're like, whoa. And is it any wonder why people feel isolated? They feel anxious. They feel depressed. They feel like they're out of purpose. So now the reason why the most precious resource that we have is time is because time is the most limited resource. Every day, with every day comes an opportunity because every minute gives you a drip of life. It's up to you to choose what are you going to do with that minute. But what most people fail to realize, and these are all limiting beliefs, by the way, is the thought process of using the word, using the phrase, I have to, instead of I choose to. Mm, that's huge, huge huge in life especially if you live in this country this is what makes this country great you actually have you have the freedom to have a choice you actually don't have to do anything you have a choice but i have to go to work you don't but i have to you don't even have to pay your taxes on April 1st. How many of you guys didn't even pay last year's taxes yet? <laughs> I know that some of you guys didn't. If you're courageous, type in the chat box me. I know but, you because I've been you. And it, But here's the thing. Here's the thing. It wasn't due. So the government did not make people believe that they had to pay their taxes by that date. Now, if you believe you have to do something, if you have a belief you have to do something, it's because you're telling yourself, if I want a result, it is required for me to do X. So because you want the result and it's a non-negotiable, you're telling yourself, I have to. So I have to go to work is not the truth. You don't have to, but there's a, there's a consequence. There's an, there's an, uh, for every action, there is an equal and opposite, e equal or opposite reaction. There's going to be a positive or a negative consequence. If you don't go to work, you could get fired. If you get fired, you could, you know, lose a source of income. For most people, it's their only source of income. So now, and it's a, and it's a waterfall trickle effect. 
So you tell yourself, I have to go to work. But when you can start to believe that I, that I choose to, I choose to, you realize the actual freedom and power that you have as an individual, especially in a country where you have the freedom to make those choices. If you are in a country where you have the freedom to make those choices, you are blessed. Yep. And honestly, you guys, that's why I, ch I chose to be here. Even if you're homeless, I'd rather be homeless in America because I have choices and I have opportunity. Because you can make it in this country even though you were homeless. Just because you're homeless today, we you, you, can, a, you can still make it. We actually have a good friend who uh, was... Yeah. We have a great friend who was... Um, we should interview her again, uh, mm -hmm. like now that we have a even bigger audience, because it's it's so inspiring. Yeah, she's awesome. She's hilarious. She was heavily, heavily addicted to heroin and a multitude of other drugs, and in and out of jail multiple times. Created by accident, a fake alias of herself. She ha she has a criminal record of herself and her alias she accidentally created by switching the two numbers in her social security number because she thought she could get away with it and not get in trouble. So she her name is Janine and she created an alias Jonine. She has the most epic stories in the world. But this woman is six years. She, she was just in hit, jail what, like three times. No, more than three times. More than three times. Like complete, just homeless for multiple years. Um, and, you know, she she now owns a cycle and bar and boot camp studio in Encinitas, California. And has and just hit her six year sobriety. Mm -hmm. And she tried to get out of it so many times. She tried to come clean so many times. Like... I'm not, we're not going to get into addiction, um, but the mindset is similar with food. Anything. It's just that food is more acceptable by society. And we actually need food to survive. Uh, yeah, and we, we don't need, need heroin to survive. Right. But, you know, some people got, some people got a little angry about an email that I wrote that said if a drug addict can do it, guess what? We know plenty of them. They were like, oh, you shouldn't use that title. It's something that s people seriously struggle with. I'm like, I know. I struggled with addiction too. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your input. I believe that if you're a go-getter, you, you have the greater likelihood to have an addiction. Mm -hmm. I have an addiction because right now. Because you get now. obsessed. You get obsessed with something. Right? Yeah, I'm I'm addicted to the success and the pursuit of our mission. It's just a matter <laughs> of, of what do you choose? What do you choose? Look at if you're sober. Yes, this is amazing. And you know what? If I offended you with that email, you should read the very first sentence of the email that said, "Please understand my point in this." Mm -hmm. I get I get it. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. But and, and congratulations for all of you guys who've, who've been sober for 16 years, 10 years. What? I also want to tell a story. That email, by the way, somebody responded and said, I can completely identify with this because I struggled with drug addiction, this and this and that for this many years. And this email was the first one that I could relate with that actually made me understand I need to do the raw transformation. So I signed up. You guys, if you read an my email, life's gonna be transformed forever. This is a good topic. If you read an email, if you read a blog post, if you read a, a social media post, if you read something that offends you or you think other people would be offended by or it makes you uncomfortable, you don't need to go out of your way to tell people what they need to do or say or not do or not say. You just need to skip past it because it's not for you. Mm -hmm. That's a mindset thing. It's okay. Not everybody in this world is going to think the way you think, agree with the things you believe, um, say what you want to hear, behave the way that you think they should based off of, you know, the set of lenses you're wearing. That's okay. We're all different. All right. And that's what creates opportunity. But you have control over you. 
Um, this is awesome. Like, congratulations to everybody who's been in that position and has come out of it. I do understand. It's an, it's extremely difficult, and, and our hearts go to anybody who, you know, is in the struggle, for real. Um, but, you know, back to the topic um, of filling up your cup is, you know, don't feel guilty for, you know, taking a second away from, you know, your significant other um, to get your workout in. Or, you know, there's, humans are, are, our bodies are resilient by nature and we're survivors. If I can watch a, you know, a 400 pound person still alive with what I know physically is happening inside of them, and how their body is fighting to stay alive. Like we're, we can, we are, we are tough beings and our bodies will do whatever we can to survive. So if you have to leave something for a second, I mean, of course, use your discretion. I'm sure there's two sides to every coin, right? But it is so important. It's so crucial. You take care of you. You make sure you're making the right choices to get yourself to where you want to be. And if you have a goal in something, Let's say your goal is to be more financially successful. Know that there are other pieces that are going to suffer, but don't let any of your buckets that are important to you suffer. Find the harmony. How much time, how much energy do I need to dedicate to each one of my important buckets? And let me make sure I've allotted time into each of those. Some might be a smaller amount of time. Some might be a larger amount of time. For those of you in the raw transformation, you're spending a considerable amount of time right now focusing on your nutrition and your workouts and the homework and the intention that we have for week one. Right? That means that there are other things in your life that are not going to get as much attention. That's okay. What are those, um, what are those contraptions? It's like a um, connects. Connects is that the brand? I'm not sure. Oh, but you Connex. like you like move one piece, uh -huh. and then like the whole thing moves and transforms. It's like mm -hmm. when you move a piece, other pieces of your life have to move and mold and transform to fit, and that's okay. But what are my buckets, and how much time do I need to spend in each of those buckets to feel fulfilled, and then give to where I want to give, in what ways I want to give. Hmm. So here's the thing, you have these five buckets and every minute you're getting a drip, which is an opportunity to fill one of your buckets. Now here's the thing, these buckets are outside and the sun is also beating on these buckets. So every day, depending on how much, how many drips of water you added to your bucket, or how little drips of you added to, to your bucket, the sun's going to dry out the bucket. Mm. And the sun is what? Energy. It's renewable. The only thing that's not renewable, you guys, is time. So know that and this is and this is how we teach weight loss and what makes how we teach it differently everybody tries to fill an entire bucket that has been empty for years in one day full pressure so what happened the water overfills the bound uh, over overflows overflows the bounds you get what i'm saying outpours outside of the bucket overflows okay so then you can't fill the bucket anymore okay you gotta so, give it. so the cycle of life is going to do its thing. The sun's going to dry it out. But here's the thing. The pipe burst. The pipe burst. So, you know, like now we have to wait for the, for the plumber to come fix it. But it's the coronavirus time. So the plumber uh, is not going to come fix it for a while. So what are you going to do about it? And this is how most people operate with regards to their life. They start to open their eyes when things are too late, when shit gets really painful. But the reality is, in one day, 
you're not completely going to change your life. But if you set an intention for every single day to allocate a specific amount of time for each and every bucket on a daily basis, a significant amount of drip is not going to be added to the bucket. But if you look at it one year later, you're going to be like, whoa, my fitness bucket is halfway full. My financial bucket is a quarter way full. My spiritual bucket is halfway full. And you're going to be like, this is incredible. So every day you have to understand that there is a consequence to everything that you do. And there is also a consequence to, every, to anything and everything that you don't do. And I find that with high performers and in mothers, you guys are so focused on, on high pressure with regards to one bucket that other buckets are and are that other buckets end up being dried out and in my opinion the pursuit of a life that's whole and complete means that all of the buckets are on a continuous basis being filled up with the intention of one day having all of them full now, that is what I would call a definition of living life at peace. We all want it. Very few people actually approach their life that way. And that's why so many high performers are overweight. Their health is lacking. That's why so many high performers think that, oh, be because, because I'm committed to achieving this, I look, I look like a sloppy hot mess. It doesn't have to be that way. Our mothers blaming their kids. Dude, it's un for one, don't you ever blame your kids because that's unfair. And also, our, our mentor, Grant Cardone, always says, things don't happen to you, they happen because of you. Who had the kids? Yeah. Who's really to blame? There's this thing called extreme ownership. And you can get like super extreme with it to the extent where like got in a car accident and someone rear-ended me. It'd be really easy to say, oh, it's that person's fault. Or you could say, well, if I were in the other lane, I wouldn't have got rear-ended, right? Not that you knew it was going to happen, but that's extreme ownership. And the purpose of it is not to say, oh, I, I should have done something different. It's to say, um, if I'm going to own it, then I don't play the blame game. I refuse to play the blame game because if you're constantly blaming somebody else for why something happened to you, then you get in this habit of losing control. If you're blaming somebody else, that means you don't have control over it. If I blame me, that means I have control of the next thing that I can do to fix it or to try to make it not happen the next time. It's not about who's really at fault, but if you take the blame and if you take ownership of you, you have control. You now have control and you've given yourself power. That's why I own every mistake, every time I'm frustrated, every time uh, something happens that I don't want to happen, I figure out what I did that could have caused it because that gives me my power back. It might not feel good because like a, you're blaming yourself, but at least when you do that, you give yourself the opportunity to change it, to do it better, to do it different, to learn from it, to grow from it, and you become better. Do Did we cut you off? No, I, I, I just had a train of thought. Do we have any entrepreneurs or intrapreneurs in the house? If so, can you, can you please hashtag preneur? Can you please, can you please holla at us? Because look, you guys, entrepreneur. How do you want them to holla? I don't know. Just raise your hand, drop your favorite emoji, drop a unicorn, say me. I don't care. Just say something. <laughs> 
Okay, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. So now here's the thing. Mompreneur, I love it. So now here's the thing. So many, so many people in this day and age, and especially like if you're like, you know, in the up and coming generation, I feel like entrepreneurship is a hot topic because people think that you travel around the world and your computer and money just comes at you um, because that's what social media makes it seem, right? Um, just like, you know, the weight loss industry makes uh, weight loss seem as if it's fast, quick and easy um, when that is not the case at all. And I feel like so many people are drawn to the concept of entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship allows you to pursue freedom. Um, in corporate America, there is no such thing as that um, you're, because you're just a number. You're not even a human. Right. So anybody who thinks outside the box is more inclined to to think like an entrepreneur and an entrepreneur. Now, the problem with most entrepreneurs in this day and age is that they lack the concept of taking full ownership. So they want to they want to gain all the spiritual benefits of being an entrepreneur, but they don't like owner, but, but they but they lack ownership. Ownership for their structure for their actions, for how they're living, for how they're, you know, communicating. And then people wonder why most entrepreneurs never actually fail to achieve whatever it is that they wanted to in the first place, regardless of how good their intentions are. So the reason why I asked you guys that is that if you're an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur, I've noticed that recently like we've gained more followers from the 10X community and that's awesome, you guys. Um, but make sure that you take full ownership for every, for everything in your life, for any area of these five buckets. Because when you do that, then you can actually create a positive change. Lack of ownership means that you're blocked. You're not accepting the reality of it. The reality that your body happened to you because of you, your relationships happened to you because of you, you know, your financial situation happened to you because of you. But here's the thing, also owning that for better or for worse means that it's up to you to change that. Mm. But most people blame their parents, Blame their spouses, blame their kids, blame the weather, blame the coronavirus, blah, 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 blah. Circumstances. No. Are there things that happen outside of our control? Always. 100%. Always. But, what, but you know what you have control over? Your attitude. Your attitude and your response. Yeah. And when you own that and when you realize that, it's powerful. And when you practice it and you practice it over and over and over, you realize, shit, I'm pretty powerful. But if you fail to do so, then you are, you, you, then you are the main obstacle that's in the road. It all starts and ends with you. Or as Grant says, wherever you go, there, there you, you are. are. It's the truth. Mm -hmm. So, and by the way, if you haven't yet snagged the ENS journal, then know that it's a great tool. This is probably... Yeah. What one of the most powerful tools. I wrote in my journal today. Do it's, I know what I wrote in my journal? It's hold on real quick. Okay. It's one of the most powerful tools that will allow you to actually put into practice how you're filling up your buckets. Because filling up your buckets is just a concept of time. We all have the same 24 hours in the day. It's just a matter of how are you approaching it. Okay. Know that if you are alive and you're well today, especially if you live in the United States, you have the opportunity to change it all, but you have to take full ownership and you have to, and you have to accept and act upon it. Thank you, Lauren, for dropping the link. Guys, I want to tell you what I wrote. And in here, there's a gratitude section. 
and we're gonna this this is also going to be modified later on down the road because I realized ways that it could be made even better and I did some artwork on one of these pages here who's my art oh you know what it's and Jennifer page. to answer your question yes it is for a quarter look at it's a 90 day journal where is it when you go to our website you can also get I'm like, going to transform it. That's my artwork. But today I wrote, I'm grateful for a wonderful attitude. Mm. That's something I'm, I'm working on. I easily get frustrated with like little things and I'm working on my attitude. Um, I'm grateful for my hair getting done with high standards. Something I'm really grateful for today. It might not seem like a big deal, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful for letting, I'm grateful for feeling my best and great about me. I'm grateful for our killer team of leaders who work hard, love hard, and are finding more success and fulfillment on our team than they could imagine anywhere else. Love that. This journal is awesome. And it looks cool. Look at that. <laughs> Anyways. Speaking of the buckets, you guys. We drip, we, we drip 60 drips of our time each and every day to each and every one of you guys. That's Why? Amazing. Because you got 60 drips. Yeah. Because we are in a mission to transform the lives of millions through the same movement, nutrition, and li lifestyle and financial habits that have transformed ours. You guys, this is about you and about your community and about everybody that you come in contact with. Why? Because, remember this, ownership. Whatever contact or connection that you make each and every day is up to you to make it good or bad. So, it all starts with you and it all ends with you. And we also know that if this adds value to you, then it's also going to add value to everybody else that you come in contact with. Now, if you found value from today's conversation, all that we ask is just drip it forward. We just gave you guys 60 drips from our, from our buckets to you. It's a gift, invaluable, priceless. Why? Because we know the power of that. Do us a favor and just get, pay, pay forward one drip and send this video or share, share this link wherever you're watching it, whether if it's on YouTube, uh, please to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're listening to this on podcast, please uh, drip leave a forward. review and, and subscribe and drip it forward. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. You guys We're are here 12. to give you all the drips. Yes, and we will. Why? Because we believe in you guys and because we know that if we make a positive impact on you, then you're gonna go ahead and make a positive impact on everybody else in your life. Drip it forward. And that's what this is all about, you guys. Okay? It's about filling your buckets. So, go ahead and, you know, play this game. How do you call the game where it's like you, I guess it's not a game. Like when the guy's like standing on this like rope and he's walking over the Niagara Falls and like balancing himself. Tightrope? Maybe. It's a tightrope? Yeah. Why, why are we playing a tightrope? Why are we walking in the tightrope? Because rope? you, it, like, it's 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 an act of balance, you guys. You got one day, and how many drips? It's like a symphony. How many drips? What play the most? What is sixty song. times twenty four? Some some somewhere along twelve hundred drips. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't matter. You guys, thank you so much, um, you know, for joining us, for showing up for yourself always. I feel like I say that all the time, but I need it every time. Um, we're truly so grateful for your presence um, and, and the ability to give whatever we have to you with the intention of making you as successful as possible in any area of your life. Hmm. And whatever we have to give, we will. So... And thank you guys for giving 60 of your drips to, to, to can, listening to this. Can we... Stop saying drips. It's they're twelve. Okay. They're twelve and I'm twelve. And together you guys are twenty four. Yeah. <laughs> and when you're twenty four, you still don't know who you are. So um so 
Thank you guys. We're going to jump back on here tomorrow. Um, again, find that post about the live event. If you guys are interested in it, it's in the announcements. Uh, leave a comment if you want more information and we'll be sure to get in touch with you. Bye guys. Have an amazing day. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow, 6.30 a.m. Pacific time.